Let's learn how to create a list view inside our Xamarin Forms application instead of showing this simple label. We'll show a list view of to-do items and those items doesn't come from our web service but it is a static list view hosted in our application. But later we'll see how we can call the web services that we created that returns the list view from our uh, database hosted on Azure. So let's start here. We see that the first application or the first page that we launch is the main page. The main page is the one right here. So it have a XAML page and a XAML.cs page. We'll go to the XAML.cs page and we'll define our list view. So from here, I go and override a method called an appearing. An appearing will be executed in each time this page will appear. And from here I'll go and define my to-dos as a new list. So for the list here I need to add a namespace which is here system.collections.generic in order to be able to use the list. This list, I need to pass to it the type of the items of the list and the type here should be the to-do model. But to-do right here doesn't uh, exist in my current XamarinForms.NET uh, standard project but it does exist in my web API. I have created it inside this uh, models uh, folder. So what I will do here, I will copy this to-do uh, class from my web API project to the .NET standard project. So I go and paste it here. I go just make other change here to change the uh, namespace to use the same namespace as my um, as my Xamarin Forms application, which is here to-do app. Great, so I have a copy of the uh, model. Now I can reuse it from my main page to say that here uh, the list should be a list of to-do. Now I'll pass some data to those to-dos. For that here I'll define a new to-do item. So each to-do will have an ID. Let's say here equal one. Then the second parameter is the title. Let's say create videos. A third parameter is done. So let's say it's not done yet, so it equal false. Then last parameter updated at and here because it is uh, a date time, so we can use the variable date time uh, now, for example. We can copy this same. Um, the same to do and create another one. So we'll say create videos, create articles. We can format this selection. Now we want to show this list of to do's inside the user interface. For that here I'll go to the main page dot XAML and from here instead of showing this sample label I'm gonna delete it and show instead a list view. I give my list view a name, let's call it to do's list view so that I can reuse it from the code behind. In addition to this, what I need to do also is to say or to set the property has an even rows to true because here I want to, ch to change the default layout of a list view. The default layout just shows one string for each row but here I have multiple um, multiple data to show uh, inside that list view. I have an ID title is done and updated at. So who, how those different properties will be shown? I need to define a data template for each row in my list view. For that, I go here and say list view dot item template. 
then inside the item template I'll define the data template then inside the data template we need to define a view cell inside the view cell we can say we want to use a stack layout and the stack layout here is the element that can show items uh, one below the other so here for the stack layout I want to, um, to, to show a label the label will show the value text equal and here I'm gonna do binding and binding means that I want this label to show a value uh, of property called ID. We'll see later how we can pass um, this list view, this to do's, to our list view. So let's imagine now that our list view has a list of uh, to do's, and those to do's will be shown right here. So uh, every view set or every data template every item of our list view can access that to do so the first one or the first label right here will access the property id the second one will access a property title to show the title in the second row and the same thing i do with uh, the other uh, properties so here we said it's gonna be title then the second will be uh, is done so make sure we copy the same values right here the fourth property will be updated at now let's bind this list view to this uh, list of to do's the way to do that I come back here to main page and here just I call my uh, to do's list view I call it a to do's list view then I call the property items source and item source equal my list of to do's so with this line of code I just tell my list view to take this list of to do's as its item source then this item source will be visible from each item template so that here I can uh, read the value of ID title is done and updated at let's run this the application is launched and here I see my list view showing the three um, our three to do items that we have created in code behind so those are the items shown here and you see because we showed them inside a stack layout it is, they are shown one below the other.